Simply no logical. You crazy bitch. One minute they are at challenge. I have so many questions. What? Why? When? How? But I love it. I love it so much. So I'm definitely gonna have to give this one a go. So welcome guys to my video. Here's my one minute nail art challenge. Like and subscribe. And let's see how much of a disaster this one will be.
and then try and recreate the same nail art with the same technique in just one minute. Let's start the timer and let's do it. That to stop. A little itchy vein. And let's just little brush this. It's messy as well. It's like it's too weird. <laughs> but again, I've just got a bit of brush. Oh, so it's just blood in there because it's still wet. I've just put so much yellow on the brush as well. Ah. Uh, I think we've got 25 seconds left. It's literally going to be impossible. Okay, I'm just going to leave it as that to be honest. Try and make it look semi. A bit on it. I've got like 10 seconds. Oh, yeah. Oh, six seconds. Shit. Oh my god. Too late. What a disaster. <laughs> Check that out, guys. You can't even really say that even looks close. I've just smushed it and made it even worse as well. And sit there. Um, this challenge is like impossible. I swear to God. Well, uh, like I said, the first one didn't even particularly come out right, and that took me 36 minutes to do. So doing it in one minute, impossible. <laughs> I could let her come out right, but this looks pretty crap. But yeah, there's that one for you. Okay guys, so this one, I don't even know why I've done it. Why do I challenge myself? See this one? Yeah, stumping. Why? I, I'm literally wondering now, why did I pick this one to do? But, you know, we're going to go with it. We know this is probably going to be the worst one out of them all. Maybe. Maybe not actually. But yeah. Let's jump straight into it. Wish me luck. Okay. Because that's certainly going to make it dry in like 5 seconds. Okay. Got 30 seconds left. Picked up the stamp. It's on. Oh, it didn't stick. Well, I, I knew that was going to happen. Instead, it's just sort of stuck there. Uh, come on. Yeah, look at that. Okay, okay, okay. Right, I'm just, I, I don't normally do this, I normally clean my stamp and plate after using it, but because I'm in a rush. Go on. Oh, I'm just going to go with that. Can okay, I got time to put them in? Probably not. Uh. <laughs> I think it's my lamp. Well, that actually didn't turn out as bad as I thought it was going to, to be honest. It's not bad. That didn't turn out too bad at all, actually. I'm pretty impressed with what it's going to come out. Hell of a lot worse than it did. What do you guys reckon? Considering the nail was wet and it was just like... Yeah. I was stamping too messy. I actually thought that was going to go a lot worse than it ever did. So, happy with that. Yeah. The next one. So now we're doing this one. I started ever so much. Yeah, the next one will be this one. I'm not too worried about this one actually. I'm hoping I should be able to do a pretty good job of doing this one in one minute. But yeah, let's crack straight on. Check that one to the side. But yeah, okay, right, I'm ready. And I'm gonna have started. I'm actually skipping the other girl that I use in my video. Okay. Just gonna let Scott do his hand. I literally need to stop getting involved in this either. Right, I'm just gonna put it quick because I've only got a few seconds left. 
<laughs> Hopefully tangled up with more strike into it. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I've got four seconds left, it's never gonna happen, so it's stuck to me. I don't think it's the right way around either. Oh no. Okay. And that was me thinking that this one would go easy, but there you go. I hate striking tape to be honest, it's so fiddly. But yeah, there you go. It's my time to. I want this one probably actually the most one, yeah, and I actually feel that one would be pretty easy. But you know, you can see the difference when you don't allow things to dry. And top coat as well. But this video's been hard in general, so I've just been using normal top coat and I'm so used to using gel top coat. So it's been a long, long, long process that obviously I'm um, normally just like here and I need the lab. It's like, just feels really quicker and a much nicer finish. Now sometimes with like natural drying, like top coat, you're just waiting forever for it to dry properly and it'll be sticky and... Uh, I hate this stuff, but I don't have any quick dry top coat either. It's literally just gel top coat and there's some cheap like ones I picked up here and there which are okay but they're not really quick dry and yeah. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. One more to go. So yeah, this one's sharp and I don't know what I was thinking here. I'm just gonna like kill my pens. I know it because the white's not gonna dry in time. But I'm gonna go with it. And yeah, time to ruin my pants. So start timers, go in. The stuffiest painting in the world. Should we do the thinnest coat ever? Look how streaky that is. There's me doing like nail polish balls, so I've only got the time to be doing that. Oh. I wish I can do it on so randomly. Yeah, right, okay, 30 seconds to go. Oh. What am I doing? It's just like my act, and I think it's nail polish is still really wet. <laughs> just like touching the tin. And it's just like terrible. And 7 seconds to go. And what is that? It's just like. <laughs> It literally looks like two of us on the nails. So yeah, that's that minute up. Uh, well, even though the challenge is absolutely ridiculous, I've got to say it's fun. It's definitely fun. You know, look at that guys, the comparison. <laughs> uh, love it, absolutely love it. So, yeah, there's that one. I knew that one's gonna go wrong. I don't know what I was thinking by trying to do shopping in one minute. Yeah, that's one of them you definitely need to like, you know, let your polish dry. But there's actual like gel top coat on top. You know, cure that and then you can actually have some fairly okay results like that. Rather than that. <laughs> so yeah, wow. <laughs> I don't think I'm all too bad actually considering. Yeah, this one don't look bad at all. I'm quite impressed with that. It's still a bit wet in places though. So obviously I put it on quite thick and the hearts look an absolute mess. But from a distance it looks okay. You can just pull it off as like some wonky polka dot or something. This one, well, like I said, normally I put white underneath because I'm this one's of black. I generally put white and then like the light colour on top of the white. And obviously it's not a drying time involved with that as well. And I don't manage to see like the little detail on the flower or the gem. But it could have been worse. <laughs> this one, well, I actually thought this one was going to be really easy. But striping tape is not my best friend. Literally it's probably one of my like least favourite parts of nail art is dealing with striping tape because it's just too fiddly. Um, the stamping one actually surprised me. I don't think it worked at all in the slightest. I just thought that the first time I tried to stamp it, it just took off white polish and didn't actually put any of the red down on the nail. So I'm actually quite impressed that that actually did decide to come out in the end. I don't think that one looks too bad. And I did manage to put this piece of gem on there literally in the last split second. And the sharper nail art, uh, again from a distance, seemed like they had to get away with that. But up close it's absolutely awful and literally looks like a kid's done it so yeah but 
you know, I'll simply send her video, you know, it'll take time, and it, it, it is a very time consuming thing, you know, when I film video, I'm jumping out of like a good couple of hours filming, so, <laughs> doing all that in one minute is just like, nigh on impossible, but I have really enjoyed the challenge, so, you know, hands up for something else on that one, that was a good challenge, and I really, really look forward to hopefully seeing some more other people do it as well, it's definitely interesting. It's good to see what people can achieve in like a really short space of time. I think it'd be a lot more doable if we can make things that like instantly dry. But the drying process with nail art is just like, you know, that's the most time consuming part. Even for using gel polish, which obviously I haven't used any gel polish in this video. But like even using gel polish is still quite quick to cure. And like you do get some quick dry polishes that do dry really quickly, but you can also get some of the normal polishes that do take like a good few minutes to dry properly. Like quite a while realistically before you can do like stamping for instance on them but yeah I really actually enjoyed this challenge I hope you guys have enjoyed it too it sort of took me like I started filming about two hours after something and I just got moved to her one and it's basically been like a night a day and a night where I've been filming like when I can in between everything else in life but yeah if you guys have enjoyed this video you can't really see there, but give it a big thumbs up for me. Subscribe down below. Any suggestions or videos you'd like to try and see me do, then you know, comment down below. I would love to know your opinions and your thoughts. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Much love, guys.